Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today we are going to roll the fender lifts on my 2014 Subaru WRX hatchback. We have the Eastwood uh, fender roller. So we're going to use that thing. I borrowed that from my buddy Ryan. So thanks a lot, Ryan, for letting me use that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start on a wheel. So take one wheel off, jack the car up, get this thing installed. Check it out, guys. It's Wheelbert. There he is, little dude. Wheelbert. Hanging out in the wheels. Wilbert. What up? What up, dude? What's up? Damn, those things are on there. Pretty good. Right on. All right, guys. So real quick, here is a difference in the tire size. So those are the new ones, the DOS with the RS3s, uh, Hankook RS3s. Those are 265-35R. 18s and this wheel is a DOS wheel and it is the FF2 flow form wheel and those are the stock wheels right there and uh, yeah these wheels are a plus 35 5 by 100 18 inch wheel and the stock ones here are the 17 by 8 inch wheel and the tires that I have on there are the Bridgestone Potenza RE 11s and those are wrapped in a 245 45 R17. Now, just so you can see the difference in overall width, you know, it's got that on it right there. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. A lot more meat. Um, overall, the height of the 45, I think, is just a tad taller as well. So, that'll be good. It'll get my uh, car back more to the standard height because these 245 45s were definitely a lot taller than the factory. 235 45s so cool let's uh get started on rolling this fender lip we're gonna go ahead and take the fender roller um it has a few spacers as well so we're gonna just go ahead and put that on the hub uh you know make sure you don't whack anything with it get it into the appropriate holes put that on there take the e-brake off and let's put the spacers on so once you go ahead and get those bolts mounted up um, they have little spacer washers in them then you can take off the e-brake on the car, like I said before, but I never did. Once you take the e-brake off, then you will be able to rub, roll the hub freely, and then we can adjust this. So first off, we gotta get a lot of heat into the fender. So we're gonna make sure it is to go out here, all up underneath, um, and all that. What you'll notice though too, is you're gonna have this like sealant right here the sealant strip on the inside it's possible that, that made us roll off with all the heat so uh, i don't have any today but what i might have to go back and do is go back over this with some undercarriage spray or something mask this off and then like hit it so that it doesn't rust or anything like that so you just want to touch it and make sure that you know you're not getting it too awful hot um real quick too we're gonna clean the area that way we just have a nice clean surface to roll on. Eco Smart down on there. Quick little detail spray real quick. All right, so that's nice and clean. All right, so we got it adjusted and now we're just gonna start out slow with the heat gun as we go. Just making sure that we roll this up under. So, gonna just kinda increase the pressure on this just a little bit. Just kind of keep rolling. Get that heat gun back up here. Make sure that we got good heat as we go. Now, what I notice is you'll start to see this seam kind of start to come off just from rolling. I don't know if there's uh, any way to get around that on the hatchback. I feel like it's different on the sedan. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. But too late for me so whatever okay so we gotta kind of mellow it out right here make sure we got good heat into it All right, so that 
I'm gonna go ahead and adjust. Whew. So it's kind of annoying at times, it gets kind of loose. So you gotta just get in there, readjust it to how you think it should be. So I'm gonna get it like that, tighten it back down, start rolling again. So it feels a bit tight, so I'll back it off a bit. All right guys, so I got a nice smooth uh, fender lip under here. The paint did, it kind of cracked in like two spots, like there and there. So that's not cool. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. Um, probably, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. So I'll probably have to just spray over it like some, some bed liner or something like that. Not bed liner, but like, I'm probably gonna spray some undercarriage spray like up in here and probably just mask it off, but it is, it's rolled up there pretty flat, so it feels, feels fairly good. Um, also, some of that seam sealer kind of comes off, so uh, that's what it looks like. You guys can kind of see it. It's, uh, it's nice and, you know, rolled up there pretty good, so, but that's like one of the spots that the, the paint kind of chipped a little bit, so that sucks. So, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do about that. Maybe put some clear bra over it, I'm not sure. But anyways, these things should tuck under here nice now. All right, let's go ahead and take the roller off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, new wheel back on. Pretty much the same on everything, guys. Uh, it's kind of a pain. I would recommend having a friend with you to uh, help you with the heat. That might prevent a little bit of cracking. But uh, from what my friend said, it's pretty, inevitable you're going to uh you're gonna crack some paint so anyways we'll go ahead and take that off and put the new wheel on all right guys so we're just kind of threading these new lug nuts on real quick um some people have been asking am i going to get arp excluded studs i do want to get them i have not ordered them yet but it will probably be coming soon because it will look a lot better and they'll be a lot safer and the stock lug nuts on these or the stock lug bolts on this car uh they break pretty easily they uh tend to strip out and then snap so that's not cool so far i've been lucky shouldn't have said that though because now probably i'll have issues but yeah we'll get this thing torqued back on and uh that's pretty much it guys so Look forward to seeing the wheels on the car. I'm not really gonna reveal like what the car looks like yet with the wheels, so you're gonna have to wait till next time. Um, I wanna do like a little bit of like glamour shots or something like that, you know, make it look cool. So we're pretty much finished up now. We'll talk to you guys soon. Later guys, and wrench on. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, so stuff will be happening.